Our test car started life as a Z06 with a lethargic 8-speed automatic. In addition to the Aero Wagon package, Callaway has fitted a Neaton TVS 2300 supercharger. The 2300cc unit is larger than the 1740cc supercharger GM installs on the Z06 and it makes more boost, just under 14 pounds per square inch. The stock unit generates about 12 pounds per square inch. According to Pete Callaway, the larger rotors also allow the unit to spin slower and generate less heat. Three integrated air-to-water intercoolers keep the intake charge cool, one on top of the rotors and one on each side. The intake charge is first pushed up by the supercharger through the top unit and then, after a hard right or left turn, down through the secondary intercoolers before being ran through the larger ports of the new intake manifold. The water-to-air heat exchanger mounted in the nose of the car also gets a new higher capacity pump. The new blower unit is so big, partially because of the stacking of the rotors and intercooler, it doesn't even fit under the hood. Callaway slices a hole in the factory carbon fiber hood and installs a black surround to cover the cut lines. It's a clean installation and you can see the top of the supercharger quivering out in the wind from the driver's seat. It's all very Mad Max and that alone is worth the $18,495 price tag. It's the duck's guts. Callaway says the supercharger, along with a PCM or a flash, takes the V8's power from 650 to 757 horsepower and torque from 650 pounds to foot to 777. Enough, says the company's literature, to run the quarter mile in 10.5 seconds at 131 miles per hour is sounds good too, with just enough blower whine to be heard but not enough to get annoying, even on long drives. I can say the same thing about the amplified bellow from the stainless Callaway Sport exhaust with its two double D tips. It's a $2,995 option. In the hills it's a Z06 with more room. There's no change to the car's balance or response. Callaway doesn't touch the suspension, brakes or tires. Although our torch red tester did wear Callaway's forged 9-spoke black chrome wheels, which cost an additional $6,280. Total sticker price for our fully loaded example was $151,000, including the loaded Z06 with the Z07 package that Callaway started with. Drivability is excellent. There's no surging, no peaks or valleys in the power curve. And full throttle is all out war. Nail it off idle with the traction control off and a massive Michelin Pilot Super Sports go up in smoke. No bombshell there. It's the Corvette's traction problem at 50 miles per hour that surprised me. The first time I hammered it at 50 miles per hour I wasn't quite ready for the resulting violence. The automatic transmission dropped a handful of gears and those big rear tires lit up and stayed lit until the next upshift. When the rubber finally grabbed the asphalt, the aero wagon dug and took off for triple digits like a jet-powered Russian locomotive, Google it. All I really remember about the thrill ride is my wife screaming. She wasn't amused. I was laughing like Tom Hanks in Money Pit after the bathtub falls through the floor. My dog would have loved it.